Welcome back. The following segment is sponsored by Graves McLean. Dogs love to roam, but dogs are also very territorial. Both can result in some kind of dog bite, and uh, being a responsible dog owner can prevent that situation and can uh, lead to litigation at some times. We welcome Chad McLean of the Graves McLean Law Firm. How are you doing, Chad? I'm good. Thank you. This is an important topic, especially for Oklahomans, because we like to own dogs. Yep. The statistics are that about 40, a little over 40 percent of Oklahomans have a dog. That's a lot. It's a lot. It seems like a lot, but then when you and I talk, we talk about how many dogs we had, and it turns out that's about right. I know. You have two dogs. I have three dogs. So, uh, yeah, obviously we like to have dogs in our house and outside of our house. You're going to keep them outside of your house, or particularly, you're not supposed to be letting them roam around the neighborhood. Correct. That can happen sometimes. Other things we need to keep in mind is how to be a responsible pet owner. Yeah, just a few quick things. Uh, most cities, T Tulsa in particular, have um, have ordinances that control what you're supposed to do with dogs. Tulsa City licenses dogs, so that's um, going to be a license that you get when the dog's vaccinated. Um, costs a fee, obviously, and you can buy a one-year or, or a three-year license. Um, and the time, the time that that matters, obviously, if, if the um, police are called or something, they find your dog out, the dog digs out. And, you want the dog to be tagged so it can be identified as yours um, and also the license so you don't get in trouble with the city. Yeah. And, you know, so many people own bigger dogs um, and, and they have lots of loving big dogs out there, sure. right? Sure. And they don't want to think that that's the kind of breed. It, it's not a breed thing. It's the person who raised the dog. Right. But when it comes to insurance companies, they actually have a different take on that situation. Right. Well, what we found is over the years we've handled um, quite a few dog bite cases, and dogs are proud. Dog owners are proud of whatever their, you know, whatever the breed the dog is, and they don't think it could ever be my dog that would do this. Um, and it's, I make it real clear, it's not my opinion necessarily that certain breeds are aggressive. It's the insurance industry's opinion that certain breeds are aggressive, and we see that when, um, unfortunately, on the other side of an incident where. A dog has gotten aggressive with um, another person, mostly their children, because they believe they can dominate the child because the child's smaller. Um, and there are injuries involved, and then we find out that the people thought they had insurance coverage, and they don't because of the particular kind of breed of dog they had. It's excluded. Right. So you're a personal injury attorney. Correct. Get calls about dog bites, cover dog bite cases. Right. If somebody calls you, what are kind of the first steps you take? Well, when they call, obviously, the things that we look for are the situation, you know, was it their dog, was it somebody else's dog, were they visiting, did it happen in the yard, did it happen, you know, as they were walking around the neighborhood, so we want to identify who the dog owner was, the, the significance um, and the nature and extent of the injuries involved. Um, and, and as a general rule, a dog owner is going to be responsible whether the dog was provoked or not for the damages, the injuries, if it happens to be that the dog causes. I'm sure there's so many different situations as there are with many cases. So the best thing to do is just uh, give you a call if you have any questions about some particular Ex exactly. thing that happened to you. Exactly. We have two people. That's all they do all day long is talk to people that believe they may have a case. All right. Thank you so much. So you think you have a case? Give Graves McLean a call, 4137 South Harvard, 918-359-6600, GravesMcLean.com, also on Facebook.